Knit in the heel. We will start with the heel flap. You have to put stitches from the fourth and first needle on one and knit not in a circle but back and forth. When you come till the end of the needle, you do a purl stitch and turn. It's about 11 rows. The last row should be on the front side of the sock and you will need all stitches but one. The last stitch will be the start of decrease of the heel. Take the stitch of the needle without knitting, wrap the thread, then move back to the other needle. Turn your knitting and proceed with purl stitches without knitting the wrap stitch. When you come to the other side, do the same. Take the stitch of the needle without knitting, wrap the thread, move back to the other needle, turn your knitting and proceed with knit stitches without knitting the wrap stitch. Next knit and purl rows you do the same, but with the second and then with the third stitch and then so on and so forth. You have to do it so many times that you have one third of stitches wrapped on each side and one third knitted in the middle. You will see it forms a little bubble now. Now we start with increases. To increase, come to the last wrapped stitch, put the wrap on the needle and knit together wrap and stitch from the front side of the stitch to avoid holes. Turn, take the first stitch off and proceed to purl. When you come to wrap on the other side, put the wrap on the needle and then, it's a little bit tricky, but try to knit wrap and stitch from the back to avoid holes. Turn, take the first stitch and proceed to knit. Every next row you will continue the following. On knit side you come to the stitch before the wrap, knit it from the front, then you put the wrap on needle and knit together Turn, take off the stitch and continue to purl. The purl side is identical to the first row. You continue like this till you have one wrap remaining on each side. Then move half of the stitches to one needle and the other half to the other. Your heel is complete. 